What's up, y'all? I'm Steve. Welcome back to another edition of Spooky Sundays with Steve, where we play spooky games, games that make me scared. Today, we're checking out a game called House of Berluscont. House of Berluscont won Best Game at the Scream Jam 2020, which ended on October 23rd. Play as a detective called to the Berluscont family's manor in anticipation of a murder that is about to happen. Investigation is very freeform, and both the world and the dialogue dynamically adapt to the discoveries you've made and conversations you've had. Combines visual novel dialogue style gameplay with simple clue finding puzzle elements. This game was just made in 10 days. Let's get into it. Diviner. On the behalf of the Berluscont family, welcome. You're the detective I sent for, correct? Yeah, that's right. Excellent. Then let's talk about the reason you're here. The murder that I predict will happen very soon. What makes you expect a murder today? I am the expert in divination you spoke to over the phone. I know you're skeptical, but rest assured that someone is... Am I going to die? Is it me? Am I going to die? Someone is going to die. Regardless, you'll get paid even if there's no murder. Although I don't know who will be killed, my abilities inform me of an impending death. The murder cannot be prevented, but I want you to find out who is responsible, or rather, who will be. If you need to speak with me during your investigation, I will be seated on the carpet behind me here. Any immediate questions on your mind? Could either of us be the potential victims? Why are you wearing all that indoors? Not really, I'll get to it. Uh, what about us? Yes, possibly. I know the identity of neither the victim nor the murderer. That's why you're here. You... I mean... If I was at home, I would have 0% chance of being murdered. You brought me in and made me a potential murder victim. Thank you. Why are you wearing all that indoors? Are you referring to my sunglasses? They are intended to signal that I am afflicted with blindness. Clearly, they are not getting that message across. Supposedly, powers of divination are actually enhanced by blindness. Please tell me if you have any other questions. I don't at the moment. I'll get going. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks awesome. Holy cow. Who's this? That, uh, that is a... That is a portrait. Observation. Appears to be a member of the Berluscont family, but there's no la label. Better keep moving. I mean, take it off the wall. Maybe there's a safe behind it. Have you never... Have you never... Solved a mystery before? Me? Who are you? Appears to be a member of the Berluscont family, but there's no label. Better keep moving. Let's see, what about this door? The door is locked, but I can hear someone moving around in the room behind it. Is it the bathroom? Everything okay in there? Stranger in bathroom. Uh, yep. Just using the bathroom. Please leave me alone. Can you just tell me who you are? Please go away. Fine, this isn't going anywhere. These graphics. This is this is really cool. No? Okay. Was that the is that the entrance? What a what a manner. So here's the the diviner. Am I am I actually looking for clues now? A crystal ball used to assist in the art of clairvoyance if you believe in that sort of thing. To the diviner, wait, aren't you blind? Are you referring to my crystal ball? I suppose a blind man using such a technique may seem strange to someone as analytical as a detective. When I use the ball for scrying, it is it is true that I cannot see the images produced, but I know that they're there, as testified by my clients, the Berlusconts. Ah, I see. It's rude. It's a rude thing to say. I like the painting, but it's pretty abstract. If I'm supposed to interpret this as an emotion, I'm choosing confusion. Like, should I be looking for uh, clues in this kind of thing? It's labeled Query near Mont Montmartre. Looks unpleasant. Oh, the first door we can open. I am 100% going to miss any, any actual clues. These plants are fake. If they weren't, they would be dead. The leaves are so dusty my eyes are watering. These plants are fake. The uh, the cursor is white, and a 
about half of everything is white, so it gets lost when I'm looking at whiteness. What? What, what is this? Oh, chimney? The fireplace? That's neat. Clues? You got clues? A small statue of what seems to be a dog. If the eyes are the windows to the soul, this poor creature is locked in a padded cell. Examine the bottom. There you go. That's detective work. There's nothing underneath the statue but some dusty books. It doesn't look like much reading gets done in here. Okay, so things that I can inspect uh, change color, but this does, well, kind of changes. Yeah, yellow. Why do the plants turn yellow? Is it a clue? Let's go upstairs. I'm really digging the atmosphere. Who are you? Um, exterminator. Um, what do you want? Let's find this door. Um, don't try to go in there. It's like totally poisonous to humans like you and me. I'm only safe because I'm wearing a mask or whatever. So why aren't you in there exterminating? I'm taking a break, just thinking about a novel I'm writing. A novel. Leave me alone. Okay, help us off. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I, man, just like, tell everyone to go home. If everyone goes home, then nobody gets murdered. A landscape painting. It's labeled Mountain Landscape with Bridge. No reason to linger. Any clues? Are there any clues? I want to feel real dumb when I don't solve the mystery, which I won't. A play of chocolates. They look really good. I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Don't do that. That's silly. <laughs> In a murder house? Where the murder is going to happen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to eat some chocolates. <laughs> Clues? Clues? This a modern version of the Eames house bird. A piece of folk art that used to be hand carved from a single piece of wood. I guess this isn't important right now. Maybe it's a clue. Maybe somebody gets stabbed, and it's the person who carved the bird. A bouquet of fresh flowers. I think they're pink tulips. Fresh flowers here. Fake flowers downstairs. A picture of Sylvester Bruscott standing aside several men, all in formal clothes. This must be his room. Check the back of the picture. A label on the back just says, Induction. I'm going to write that down. Induction. I can lay down for a minute. No going in there. Um. Maybe that's who was pooping downstairs. Maybe, maybe they die of pooping. What's this? Uh oh, there's a clue. What does that say? An illustration of the goat goddess Amalthea nurturing an infant Zeus. When she died, Zeus took her skin in honor of her. Seems a strange way to mourn someone. Someone's going to get cut. That much is obvious. Look at the drawers. This detective, man. <laughs> this was... <laughs> I didn't expect a jump scare. <laughs> Butler. Um, oh, um, Hello. Do you need to use the toilet? I was just feeling a bit anxious and have been hiding out here for a short while. No, I'm good. Are you okay? I need to pick up something from the laundry room downstairs, but that exterminator, have you met her? I have. What about her? She's terrifying. The mask and the suit. I can't bear to even walk past her to go downstairs, which is not good because I really need some stain remover. If I see some, I'll pick it up for you. You're the best, no pressure, but it's the blue spray bottom in the downstairs laundry room. If you find yourself down there, got it. Blue spray bottle, laundry room. Do you have any clues? Do you have any clues? What if I put, what if I put this over your eye? What if I put this eye over top of your eye? Stop moving. There it is. Looks pretty good. Nothing in here? Um, 
Yo, just, just, like, you don't even have to, like, make eye, eye contact. Just look, 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 she doesn't care. Laundry room. Did we encounter such a thing? Hmm. Oh, we never went down downstairs. Is that where the laundry room is? Apple. Just a bright red apple. I'd rather have a cigarette. What? <laughs> um. Is this the entirety of downstairs? Wait. What's this panel? Get back there. That's clearly, that's clearly something. There's another. Oh, there's just panels. Um. That's really all there is downstairs. What an elaborate staircase to a few boxes, uh, most of which are empty. We couldn't get in here before, right? Yeah, I thought we could not get in here. Oh, there's a laundry room? Blue bottle? Looks like a bottle of liquid stain remover. This must be what the butler is looking for. Oh, he's gonna be stoked. A modern laundry machine. None of them are in use, but there's no dirty laundry in sight. Is that a clue? Seems like the butler stays on top of things. Nothing else to see here. A modern laundry machine. How does the butler get anything done with the uh, exterminator there? Just a typical sink. Completely empty. Maybe I should wash my hands. The water from the faucet is cold. It provides little comfort. Their hot water is off. That's a clue. Just some liquid soap. Better keep moving. Did you, did you, did you not use soap when you washed your hands? A dumbwaiter system, it can only move upwards from here. It looks like it gets used regularly, it doesn't seem sturdy enough to ride in. What a shame. Alright. This couch is facing the laundry machines instead of a television set. Maybe the Berluscott family watch, watches clothes dry together for entertainment. I'm bored just thinking about it. Well, let's get this to the butler. He's gonna be stoked. You'll never guess what I found. Oh, you're... Wait, is that... Stain remover? It is. <gasps> you're incredible. Thank you so much. You have no idea. I apologize that I never properly introduced myself. My name is Butler Berluscont. Wait, your name is Butler? Yes, is that so strange? It's strange for someone employed as a butler, not employed exactly, although the tasks I perform around the house are often associated with professional butlery, I am a Berluscont. As such, I am an heir to the family fortune. Same as Sylvester and Sylvia. We three siblings are the only true Berluscons left. So what would happen if one of you died? Well, then the fortune would only be split two ways, although I have no idea what to do with all that money. I would probably give up my share. I have simpler desires. All I want is to curl up on the floor here with my stain-free clothes and read a good book. Okay, I'll leave you to your bathroom then, except nobody reads. Because nobody, because those books were dusty, I think. I'm gonna get murdered. Um, so that dude only cares about laundry. He's the one sitting on the couch. Let's, uh, let's talk to this one. Let's talk to the diviner again. Have you found anything of importance? Who have you heard nearby recently? Interesting question. I heard someone come out of the bathroom a while ago. More, more recently, someone with quieter feet than yours walked up the stairs. Nobody other than you has opened the front door or walked down the hallway towards the family room besides me since you arrived. Very detailed, thank you. Somebody's upstairs? And somebody left the bathroom. Let's check that bathroom. <gasps> Look at these clues. There's blood on the ground here. It's smeared slightly towards the top of the cellar stairs. I can't tell exactly where the trail begins. Well, it's... Somebody got killed in here. Or had... An accident. Hang on, this is blood. Now that I look more closely, it looks like someone cleaned the floor here to try to hide it. This seems important. <laughs> this is... This is turning into a mystery. I'm intrigued. Let's go downstairs. 
Wait, could they have gone out here? It's closed. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Blood. My heart is racing. What will I find beyond the cellar door? Someone's hurt. I need to keep moving. I'll rescue you. No. I can't believe it. The diviner was right on the money. It's Sylvia Berluscott. I never even met her and she's already dead. Better examine the body. What to examine next? How'd she die? Blunt force trauma to the head. Looks like she was hit several times, so I guess this was intentional. Not a great way to die. What to examine next? How did she end up here? Looks like she was dragged here. She wasn't killed in this room. She was mur Was the murderer trying to conceal the body? Someone was bound to find her eventually. I need to figure out where she was killed. What to examine next? That's all for now. Where was she killed? Well, we checked out the bat. Oh, what's this? A single pink tulip. Almost like an apology. It seems obvious that the killer knew the victim. Sylvia is a brewskant after all. The bouquet from earlier matches this flower. The fact that this flower matches the bouquet from the bedroom is pretty suspicious, although I suppose anyone could have taken a flower out of the bedroom. Very interesting. Um, we need to ask the diviner if he only if there's only one murderer. Or if we're in the clear. If we're in the clear, I'm good. Hey, guess what I found? Have you found anything of importance? Well, Sylvia's dead. Her body's in the cellar. I was afraid you'd say that. She will be greatly missed. Sylvia was the most interesting person in this house. For instance, she had this cane she carried with her everywhere. Sylvia didn't need help walking, but she thought it made her look more dignified. Not to mention she wouldn't hesitate to hit her brother's legs with it when they acted up. Sorry for your loss. Have you determined who was responsible? I already have my suspicions. If you don't have enough evidence, start asking people hard questions. One of them must know something. I think I have I think I have hard enough evidence or I don't have enough evidence yet. I don't have enough evidence yet. Let's go ask these people about things. Well, let's go look in the bedroom first where that tulip came from. Hey, what's up? Sylvester Berluscott. Hello, I don't believe we've met. I'm Sylvester Berluscott. You're the detective our diviner hired, correct? That's right. We'll continue detecting. Any questions for me? Tell me where you've been recently. No questions for me. Directions. Well, I heard the front door open while I was in the bathroom on the first floor. I assume that's when you got here. I was in the bathroom for quite some time and came straight back to my room quite recently. I'm sure the exterminator can testify to that. Why use the bathroom on this floor? Why not use the bathroom on this floor? Well, I tried, of course, but Butler was in there already. That makes sense. We'll continue detecting. Any questions for me? Do you keep flowers in the vase back there? Yes, normally. Come to think of it, there were flowers in there just earlier today. I imagine Butler got rid of them. Interesting. Thanks. We'll continue detecting. That's all for now. Um, and the flower's gone now. What happened to the flowers that were here earlier? Did someone throw them out? The flower on the corpse. Again, the flower I found on the corpse matches the one that used to be in this vase. Did the killer dispose of them to throw me off the trail? This looks bad for Sylvester, but it's not enough evidence to prove it was him. This is disturbing. Um, yeah, so somebody's trying to set up Sylvester. It's going to be the exterminator or butler. Butler is interested in cleaning supplies, and somebody tried to clean up some blood. Hey. I got some questions for you. Is there something else you need? I'd prefer to be left alone. I have a pit in my stomach. Like something horrible has happened. Did you get rid of Sylvester's flowers today? No, not today. Why would I? They were still alive and vibrant when I checked this morning. Interesting. Thanks for your help. Let's talk to the exterminator. Sylvester, I don't trust you. Did you hear something? What have you seen recently? Oh yeah, you're the detective, right? Yeah. Well, let me see. After you came upstairs and went into the bathroom with that nervous guy, Sylvester came upstairs and went straight to his room. So like, nobody else has walked by me since you got here. Did you see anyone downstairs? No, I can't see downstairs from here, sorry. Thanks for the report. Sarcastically, he said to the exterminator. <laughs> but don't poke me. Anything else? There's a hammer mixed in with these clean clothes. If I remember correctly, the dumbwaiter was at the bottom not too long ago. Did someone send it up from below or call it from here? Examine the head. The head of the hammer is dented in from its onerous duties. It has probably driven the end of many nails. Examine the handle. 
Sopping wet? What's going on here? Take it. That's, this might be evidence. Um, I know you're a detective and all, but if you go around carrying the murder weapon, it's going to look suspicious. I'm going to peek in here one more time. Is that a person? What are you... Who are you... What? You're not even like... You don't even have a face. What the... A stranger at the window. Hey, thanks for coming over. I was getting lonely. Um, trying to get my attention? That's right. I've never seen you before, so I wanted to talk. I'm a groundskeeper. Saying much more than that about my role here would violate the terms of my stay. Terms? The Berluscott family generously allows me to make my dwelling on the grounds of the manor in exchange for my services. That's, uh... Essentially, I do... Anything a Berluscott asks of me, I can't say much more than that. Why don't you come inside? I'm not allowed inside the house, but I can still help out a lot from out here. I couldn't even sneak in if I wanted to, since the windows only open slightly. So you just take orders through the window? Pretty much, yeah. But I only take orders from the Berluscots, so don't even try telling me what to do. If you want to order me around, you'll have to marry into the family. Anyway, you sure ask a lot of questions. Well, I am a detective. I have more. I've lived outside this manor for maybe a dozen years now. Feel free to ask me anything, but don't try to tell me what to do. Although I can't guarantee I'll give you an answer. Why is this room so dusty? As far as I know, this room has mostly gone unused for months, maybe longer. Although, on second thought, Sylvia does read here occasionally. Know anything about this hammer? That's my hammer. I'm looking for that. Can I have it back? Sorry, it's evidence. I'm not saying anything else until you give my hammer. So you have no idea how it got in here? Hands over hammer after all? Uh, let's back away. Here's my hammer. What's this? Oh, the cane. A walking stick is on the ground here. It's splattered with a small amount of blood, but there isn't much blood on the ground around it. This must be Sylvia's cane used to murder her. How did it up here? It's nowhere near the body. Odd. Take it. Why, why do I... Why, did, why, did, why was I able to take the hammer and not the... Maybe the diviner would know more... Small statue of Sengura. Same on the bottom. Doesn't look like much reading gets done in here. Interesting. I was told Sylvia reads in here. And if you read, if you're a person that reads, you know that you you touch every book every day. I don't have enough evidence yet. We've got the groundskeeper that's not allowed in the house closest to who's that dumb waiter? Uh, closest to one potential murder weapon um, we've got Sylvester who was in this bathroom and uh, there's blood in the bathroom but there's going to be some movement and Sylvester's like the obvious candidate it's a setup what are these it's strange that these candles have been placed on the floor also, I can tell the candles used to be on this side table from the sun damage pattern. I think someone moved these out of the way so they could put something else on the table and forgot to put them back. Examine the tray holding the candles. On a closer inspection, the square tray the candles are sitting on has been cracked as if it was knocked off the table. Seems important. What does it mean? Did the groundskeeper, uh... climb in? After Sylvester left? When Sylvester was done pooping... The groundskeeper climbed in through the window, and then Sylvia was there for some reason. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what I missed. And uh, I think I'm start. I think I'm ready to start throwing some accusations around. But before accusations, somebody's died already. So. That whole, somebody's definitely going to die, that's over. So let's try these chocolates. Because now we can't die. Scientifically, since somebody has died, I'm invincible for the rest of the night. Maybe just one. Is there something else you need? Did Sylvia read in the family room often? No, I don't think she's done that in a long time. She's very focused on business nowadays. I don't get to talk to her much because of how busy she is now, which is sad. She's my favorite sister. Interesting. Someone's lying. 
Okay, so we've narrowed it down between... I mean, there could also be cahoots in play, but... Butler and Groundskeeper are telling me two different things. And uh, evidence, the dusty books, points towards the butler being the liar. Yeah. I think I have enough evidence. Let's start at the beginning. Where was Sylvia? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, ah, crap. <laughs> There is blood on the floor of the bathroom. Downstairs bathroom. Interesting. Have you located her cane? I wouldn't be surprised if she used it to retaliate against her attacker. Yes, it was in the family room. A little bloody. Hang on. You said Sylvie was killed in the bathroom. How did the cane get into the family room? You're the only one who has walked in front of me since you got here. Your footfalls are very distinctive. From the outside. From the outside. Yeah, the butler. Uh, an accomplice? No, I want to say from the outside. Oh, that's a bold claim. Who do you think moved the cane from the bathroom to the family room? I'm in over my head. Groundskeeper. Hmm. How could the groundskeeper have received the cane, though? He's not allowed inside, and even if he was, the front door hasn't opened, and the windows don't open far enough for him to fit through. It was passed through. A cracked window. Normally, he just takes orders from the Berlusconts through the windows on the first floor. He's been inside the whole time. He was given the cane through the bathroom window. I see. And then he planted the bloody cane in the family room to throw off the investigation. Exactly right. So let's talk about the important thing. Who passed the groundskeeper the cane? Who killed Sylvia Berlusconte? Well, <laughs> use an option. Hold on. So, if the groundskeeper is in cahoots with somebody, they would have... They wouldn't have a... They wouldn't... If the groundskeeper was in cahoots with somebody, their story would line up with them, and their story does not line up with Butler. I don't know anything about you. Uh, Sylvester was pooping in there. Sylvester? I suspected it was Sylvester. I'm glad you came to the same conclusion. One last thing. Did you find the murder weapon? It could be important evidence when we speak with the police. I did. It was a hammer. I did. It was a plate of chocolates. She was pushed down the stairs. What about blunt trauma? It was a hammer. No, I didn't. I'll go back to you when I find it. It was a hammer. Do you have it with you? Yeah, I have it right here. Well, any idea why there isn't blood on it? Maybe he wrapped it in plastic. Sylvester washed it off in the laundry sink. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. In the laundry sink. Why would Sylvester go to the laundry room? Oh, he dropped it down the, the chute. I see. You've done excellent work here. You really are an ace detective. I'm glad I hired you. Thanks. Was I right? <laughs> Next, we might want to apprehend Sylvester ourselves. I'm worried he will make a run for it when he sees the police. You have a gun, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll shoot him. Sylvester? Are you calling the cops? Go upstairs. I'll call the police. Got it. Oh! I thought only one could die. <laughs> he must have heard me and the diviner talking. Where'd that bastard Sylvester go? Can't go in there. Uh, I'm gonna get killed, aren't I? One more for the road. Nope. Can't click that. Can't go in there. Uh-oh. Uh... Um... Hello? You should have just told the diviner it was the groundskeeper. Nobody would have had to die. Was I right? I mean, to be fair, the diviner kind of led me through it. <laughs> Was this really necessary? Sorry, but I'll kill every witness if I have to. Your next detective, try me. Just shoot him. <laughs> that was awesome. Not, not really... Uh... I wouldn't consider it a horror game. That was pretty straight mystery. I'll put a link to this game in the description. I thought it was fantastic. Um, check it out. Uh, give them money. I don't know if there's a way to give them money on it. I don't know if they're asking for money. But go check them out. If you enjoy these kinds of Let's Plays of indie games, be sure to subscribe. And if there's a game that you want me to check out, let me know in the comments. And be sure to like the video. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.